So you're thinking of moving to Caldwell, Idaho. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at downtown. We're gonna go see some neighborhoods and I'm gonna give you just kind of high level overview of what Caldwell would be like if you decide to live here. Hey, my name's Craig Flood. I'm a real estate agent here in Idaho. And if you're thinking about making a move to Idaho in any of the major cities, be sure to subscribe to this channel. I post a new video each week highlighting different cities so that you can get educated on which city is going to be the best fit for you. And also, we would love to help you in that process as a realtor. So be sure to subscribe so you can be the first to be notified each week when we post new content. So in today's video, we're going to take a nice kind of close look at downtown Caldwell, which is going to probably be one of the enticing factors that causes you to put Caldwell maybe a little higher on your list of cities that you're considering, probably in the Treasure Valley. We'll talk about the location, we'll touch on schools, we'll also drive around some of the neighborhoods, I'll touch on what's happening with the real estate. In addition to that, we're gonna step inside a beautiful new construction home. Nobody's lived in it yet, but I wanna show you what it would look like if you decided to buy a larger home on some land and what kind of amenities you could get in a house like that. So stay tuned all the way to the end. It's gonna be really enjoyable and a really fun overview of what Caldwell's like so that you can ultimately decide if this is gonna be a place that you wanna live. So here we are in downtown Caldwell. This is gonna be the Indian Creek area. Really lovely, great shops, a creek that kind of runs right through. You have pedestrian bridges that cut across. So just over there behind me, you got Flying M Coffee, so you got good coffee shops downtown. You have restaurants and just to my right, you have a space for events. So this is a place where the community can gather. Again, it's really nice, really friendly, really walkable. And they've just done a really good job with this space down here. Let's go ahead and check out another coffee shop. It's gonna be Bond and Bevel, also right here in this downtown area. All right, now let's go check out a little bit more of downtown via driving. Let's jump into some neighborhoods from there. But hopefully you guys kind of got a feel of what this was like. Again, this has come a long way, but it's a lovely area to come down again. One reason that you may choose Caldwell over one of the other surrounding cities. All right, first let's establish where Caldwell is. So here is the Treasure Valley. You got Boise off to the far right over here. You got Garden City, Eagle Star, Middleton, Nampa, CUNA down here. And then over here on the left, you have Caldwell. So let's go ahead and zoom in on that a little bit. You have 84, which kind of cuts through the heart of it. And then this is kind of the downtown area right here. And later on, we're gonna look at a house kind of out in this direction. So the city of Caldwell is best known for the College of Idaho and Caldwell Knights Rodeo. Again, this is a really fun small town with a lot of things going on. Also, the Simplot companies have a long history and strong ties to this community. So now here we are downtown Caldwell and why you guys get to kind of see what this downtown's like. I just want to share some details about Caldwell. So Caldwell was founded in 1883 as a railroad town during the expansion of the Oregon Short Line Railroad. The city is named after Alexander Caldwell, a U.S. Senator from Kansas. And in terms of agricultural roots, the development of irrigation systems really transformed Caldwell and the surrounding areas into a thriving agricultural center. In terms of the population of Caldwell, depending on where you look, you're looking at about 60 to 65,000 residents. For diversity, Caldwell boasts a diverse population with a large Hispanic and Latino community, making up about 37.5% of those residents. Caldwell is also a key part of the Sunny Slope Wine Trail, which is highlighting the flourishing Idaho wine industry. In fact, my wife had a chance to go out there last summer and really had a great time sipping some wine with some close friends and was just really blown away how beautiful the area was and how good the wine was. So here we are just a little north of downtown and right here we're crossing over the Boise River. Right behind us was Wittenberg Park and right in front of us is the Rotary Pond Park. So the nice thing about this is you do have access to the Boise River in Caldwell. Also you have access to these ponds in case you want to go fishing. In terms of major industries in the Caldwell area, it's going to be agriculture, food processing, healthcare, and education. In terms of stores and amenities, you're gonna have things like Walmart, you're gonna have Albertsons for a grocery store, you're gonna have things like Shucks O'Reilly's Auto Parts, and the Dollar Tree. 
Now, just south of you in Nampa, you're going to get access to some more amenities like Home Depot, Winco, and Costco, and Target. Now, let's talk about home prices and real estate. So, in general, as you move further west in the Treasure Valley, things tend to get a bit more affordable. In Caldwell, the median sale price is right around $379,000, according to Redfin. Currently, for homes, the median days on market is about 52 days. And so now let's look at schools. So according to greatschools.org, here on the left, we're going to see Caldwell Senior High School. That's going to get a 2 out of 10. Uh, as we move down, we have the elementary, a 2 out of 10. We got another middle school, 2 out of 10. And then finally, Wilson Elementary, 2 out of 10. And Jefferson Middle School, 1 out of 10. Lincoln Elementary, 1 out of 10. Washington Elementary, 1 out of 10. So in terms of ratings, these ratings are not the best. So take that in consideration when considering Caldwell as an option. Hey friends, I just wanted to pause for a moment. If you're thinking about buying or selling, or if you're serious about getting relocated here to Idaho, then be sure to reach out. Me and my team would love to assist you in that transition. Down below is my contact information. You can call, text, or email days, nights, or weekends, and we would be happy to help. Guys, here is an example of a house that is 3,200 square feet out here in Caldwell. It's gonna be three bedrooms, plus an office, plus a flex room, huge garage, beautiful views, lovely design, and it's sitting on an acre lot. It's still in the process of being finished in terms of landscaping, but let me show you inside to show you what this would look like if you decided to live here. All right, here we are inside now. This is the entryway. Move straight into the living open dining kitchen and beautiful views out the back inside we're going to have a gas fireplace and a gas range over there and that's going to be ran off propane there is no natural gas out here so there is a propane tank off the back of the garage that feeds those two items here we have the dining area and then right into the kitchen gonna have the microwave down there the dishwasher the farm sink here's that propane range custom cabinetry all throughout can lighting, everything on dimmers, beautiful view of the fireplace. There are TV connections in this house too. You got one TV connection under there, but also you have one above the fireplace if you want to do that instead. So there's going to be a three bedroom with an office and a flex room. So five total rooms. So let's go look at those now. So this is going to be the office. And then in the office, you have a closet and you also have connections in case you want to run security. Everything's rigged up to do that in this closet right here. All right, now as we walk back out, we have the butler kitchen over here and pantry. As we walk back here, we're going to walk into the master. Beautiful master. I love the fans that they did in this space. And here is the covered patio directly off the master. You're going to have hookups for a TV again. You also have 220 down there in case you want to do a hot tub over here. Now we're into the master bathroom. I love how they did the master bathroom too. Uh, we kind of have a his and her closet, so that's going to be hers. It's a bit larger, nicer, has a window into it. And then that's going to be his right back there. I'll show you guys those in a second. First, let's look at the tub. Something unique about this bathroom is that it has heated floors, and that can be controlled right there. So when you wake up in the morning and you got bare feet, it's going to feel really good on these heated floors. You got two sinks. Now let's look at her closet. Very large, got a nice mirror. Nice built-ins, everything custom. Got a linen closet right here to our left. Now, if we go back here, we have a nice little toilet room. Beautiful shower, door that swings both ways. Which is nice because if you're in there and you want to reach for your towel, you can push it out this way. We have one, two, three heads in the shower. One, two, three nozzles right there. All right, now we're walking into his closet not as large as the other one but still works you got everything and you also have a built-in right behind the door maybe put some watches or shoes whatever you might want to put and then that puts us straight into the laundry room got a thing i love the tile that they did here got your washer and dryer side by side hookups right there and then that puts us into the entry from the garage let's go ahead and look at the garage and then we'll cut over to the other rooms in the flex room so here we are in this garage. This garage is roughly 2,300 square feet. This bay right here is 50 feet long, and this bay right here is 42 feet long. But let me walk you around a little bit, and then we'll jump back inside. So here we have the panel. We got a 220 hookup right there. We also have another 220 hookup over there. 
here you got your water heaters, HVAC. On the other side of that wall, that was the uh, her closet. And so up above, that is joists that can hold a ton of weight. So you can use that as storage. Built-in vacuum system. So you got this, you can pull that out. It's a cord, fan control for the fans that you have. And then over here, you know, you park, you know, your car's here and you're all set to go. And comes with utility sink and you got hot and cold for water supply right there. So now that we're coming out of the garage, we're going to have one of the first kind of main bathrooms right here, powder room. Now let's go to the other side of the house and we'll look at the other two bedrooms and the flex room. I really like the flex room, especially because of the views that it has, but this is going to be bedroom number one. And in here we got kind of got a Jack and Jill situation going on. So this is going to be the sink for the first bedroom. There's an identical sink over there too. This is going to be the closet for that bedroom. The bathroom. Again, I love the window right there. Some shelves right there to put your things. Another door in case you're coming out of the flex room. You can come into the space. Now this is going to be bedroom number two. Turn on that light for you guys. Again, sink. Bedroom number two. Very large fan. And now let's go look at the flex room. So here's the flex room. Something I love about the flex room is one, how they design it. You got to got that accent wall right there. Again, you have TV hookups and things like that, but it also has a door onto the patio, but it also is looking out into the backyard. So you get a ton of great light. You're south facing in this direction. So you're going to get a lot of good light that just cuts in through the house this way. I'd love how they staged it and used this, but I'd be curious, leave in the comments below what you would do with a room like this. So here we are in the back and this house has just over a thousand feet of covered patio, which is great. So you have this covered area, you have that other covered area just off the master bedroom and then also in the front of the house. But let me show you some of the views that you would have. The, the landscaping is in the process of being finished. In fact, they were just laying the rocks today, but let's take a view together of what your view could look like out here in Caldwell. And since we're back here, let's go ahead and just walk over here and I can show you the patio for the master so that you can see what that's like. So here's the patio for the master again, beautiful oversized lighting door into the master, a hookup there, a hookup here. And now over here on the side of the house, you have a hookup here for a hot tub in case you want to do that. There's your AC unit. And then there's the propane tank. And remember out here in this specific area, they don't have natural gas. So that propane is going to be running the stove and the fireplace. If you guys like this video and you want to watch another one, be sure to check out that video right there. I'm sure you'll appreciate it as you're on a journey of deciding if Idaho is going to be right for you. I'll see you guys in the next video.